All right. Welcome to the clean code, or as I like to call it, it's spicier title, Code Like a Pro, the variables introduction. I am Dylan Israel, as you already know. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about how we can write cleaner code, specifically with variables. We're going to have three main objectives when we do this. We want to have more searchable, readable, and understandable code. A lot of bulls there, but by the end of it, you'll be able to write cleaner code. This is important. How are we going to do that, right? Those, those, these are just words, right? We have three main objectives, but how do we accomplish them? Well, we're going to accomplish them by following some language standards, making sure that we're doing what the average, in this case, JavaScript developer would do. Now, a lot of these items, you're going to be able to transfer between languages. That's what's so great about standards and uh, clean code and you know practices and design principles, things like that, is it's language agnostic. Although, of course, we're going to be doing it in JavaScript. We're going to show the benefit of limited scope. We're also going to talk about creating new variables versus reusing when and why to do that. The importance of eliminating magic numbers. How choosing a name to describe what it does, but not how it does it is very important. And we're also going to do what I call the parent or significant other test. And all I mean by that is if a variable name doesn't make sense to my mother, who's not very tech savvy, love her to death, but that's the truth, then it's not a descriptive enough variable name and we can do better. We're also going to talk about when to use long names and short names and a lot more. So this is probably the part of the course, which is why we're starting with it, that can have the most impact immediately. So let's go ahead and jump into it.